Good morning, folks. We'll discuss the ice on perihelion live hangout towards the end of the video, but first things first. All bright SOHO objects sprout wings. It's a light effect to the sensitive camera that includes comets, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, Saturn, and Mars. Carl Battams of the CIOC gave a magnitude of negative 2 last night, or at least double that brightness on SOHO since then. More on ice on in a moment. Quickly to South Korea. Apparently a problem with the turbine to shut down one of their reactors. All claims are of no danger to the workers or the public. Something interesting developing in the website forums I'd like help gathering resources. 2011 interview describes pool number 4 at Fukushima as damaged, dry, incapable of containing inventory, aka the rods. Yet, they claim to be removing rods from number 4 right now. Something there is impossible and it's best if we group tackle the facts on this one so we can gain agreement and miss nothing. Is the rod removal a farce? Same buoy in event mode, minor jolts there at the location of the disturbance under the ocean. If this is the weakest rate of return you've seen for the measurement mission survey, that's about right. Lahar tremendously weakened as it struck the Indian coastline here. Other top weather watch is off a lesser remnants in Australia. We'll come back to world weather at the end, but here's the latest drought look before we begin to look at the stars again. Goes X-ray flux. No flaring. More than a momentary downturn, since late 2011 we've described a solar magnetic shutdown where the sunspots decay facing Earth, fail to flare facing Earth, lose complexion upon entering the Earth-facing disk, and fail to live up to their magnetic classification. Fewer, weaker sunspots. This is one of the main points of climate number three, where for the first time ever it's not just SO and some other obscure reporters discussing the solar shutdown and potential next ice age. This was the experts finally jumping on board as the IPCC propaganda goes up in flames. Anyway, if I'd shown you these spots and you'd guessed the flaring was that low, I'd ask how you cheated. Even with beta magnetics not really mixing together whatsoever, we should have more than this. Probably need to classify this general grouping as gamma. We can't separate the polarity with a continuous line. I'm also watching the development in the center of the trailer. Trailing that trailer are the massive sunspots already appearing to have complex morphology and mixing magnetics, just no flaring. Even without that flaring, we did have some small Earthside CMEs. As you can see, these are not major, and indeed, they will either likely miss Earth or be of minor effect only. This is according to the Enlil Spiral. Calm solar wind, very calm, speed well under 300 kilometers per second. KP index shows that geomagnetic quiet. Quake watch score dropped from 7 to 4 yesterday due to lack of corona hole power and blocking magnetic fields. We've had no big quake since then. Around lunchtime in the eastern US today, we'll be doing the live Comet Ice on Google Plus Hangout. We'll be visible here on YouTube as well. Just like normal uploaded videos, it will just appear around that time. You can hop in and watch the live perihelion show for Ice on. We'll discuss the background facts and speculations, then watch it all go down. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.